After long wait and much speculation, the Congress has finally decided on its candidate from Kapu constituency. The ticket has been given to ex Puttur MLA and Congress MP from UDP and current AICC Secretary Vinay Kumar Sorake. The decision was made late night, sources said. Sorake had shifted his base from Puttur to UDP after losing to Sadananda Gauda by a very thin margin. Later, he took active interest in national level politics and won the UDP Lok Sabha seat. The battle for Kapu among the many aspirants had put the party in doldrums, hence delaying the announcement to the 11th hour. Wednesday, April 17th being the last date for filing nominations, the party has no time to lose. Sorake's main opponent, Lalji R. Menden, from BJP has already filed his nomination. There were as many as 15 ticket aspirants from Kapu, all of whom had been pushing hard to lay their hands on the ticket. Some of them even visited New Delhi in this connection, sources had said. The names of Vasant B. Salvian and social worker Suresh B. Shetty had been considered in a recent meeting in New Delhi, while Sarasu Bangera's name under women's quota and Gafur under minority quota had also emerged as possible candidates, sources said. Finally, Oscar Fernandez had held a special discussion and shortlisted the names of Vasant B. Salyan, Suresh Shetty Gurme, Sarasu D. Bangera, M. A. Gafur, Harish Kenny and Vinay Kumar Sorake. It is Sorake who finally backed the prize. A CBI investigator told Ghaziabad court hearing the Arushi Hemraj double murder that there were indications that a teenage girl may have been killed in 2008 by her dentist parents Nupur and Rajesh Talwar. Investigation officer I.G. Alkaul appeared before CBI special judge S. Lal and said during the probe no signs were visible to suggest that an outsider entered the Talwar's house where the murder took place. Arushi 14 was found murdered at her parents' Noida residence on May 16, 2008. The body of Hemraj Talwar's help was found the next day on the terrace of the house. The Talwar's who were arrested by the probe agency are now out on bail. A situation of confusion appears likely in Mudbidri this time. There would be two Abaya Jains and two Umanath Kotyans in the poll arena. While sitting Congress MLA filed his nomination, one Abai Kumar Jain, said to be an auto rickshaw driver, was announced that he would be filing his nomination as an independent candidate. On Umanath Kotyan, a resident of Haleangadi Kemran, has filed his nomination as an independent candidate. Tulu Academic President Umanath Kotyan is scheduled to file his papers as the BJP candidate today. Interestingly, both Abayas belong to the Jain community and both Kotians to the Billava community. It is not known if the putting up the candidates with similar names is the game plan of the respective opponents. In case of EVMs, the oath mark would be counted straight away without any option to undo the process. Once again, the main headlines. COD rated Kulai home in Mangalore, children's flesh straight unearthed. Earthquake rocks Iran to Delhi, major trauma in Iran Park border. First ever Karopati winner Hussein laddered from poverty. Kapu Congress ticket gainer is Vinay Kumar Sarake. Two Abayas, two Umanats. What a game plan in Murubidri. Arushi killed by parents, CBI investigator told. This is all in this edition. For more news, keep watching V4 News 24-7 or you may also log on to v4news.com.